All right, our friend Avogadro did several experiments when dealing with the um, concept of the mole. Remember, he's one who came up with the number 6.02 times from the 10 to the 23rd. He also came up with the several other things, one dealing with gas particles. Um, and here's Avogadro's principle, and it states that equal volumes of gases at the same temperature and pressure contain equal number of particles. All right, what does that mean? How can we break that down? Okay, let's say we have a container, and we have one mole of, I don't know, let's say um, something small, helium gas. Okay, and the temperature is 273 Kelvin and one uh, atmosphere, or one and 1.3 kilopascals, or 760 millimeters of mercury. These are all the same, just different units of pressure. Okay, let's see we have one mole of helium. Um, we're gonna say at these conditions, he found that uh, one mole of this is actually 22.4 liters. But let's say we change it. Let's say we, t we take out this small helium, put in something really, really large. Let's say we put in something like um, iodine. Iodine is extremely large compared to helium. Well, he also found at these conditions, matter of fact, this actually is 22.4 liters also. How can that be? Well, it's because gas particles are so, or atoms in general, are so, so, so small compared to the container that holds it, that it doesn't matter if they're large or small, relatively, they're all the same compared to the massiveness of the container that holds it. So let's talk about how, why that's important and how they can move on. We're gonna call this volume the molar volume. It's the volume that one mole of any gas, don't forget, doesn't matter if it's a huge gas particle, has tons and tons and tons of, of elements, or if it's something that's very small, such as helium. It doesn't matter. It, at, at these conditions, zero degrees Celsius, also known as 273 Kelvin, and one atmosphere of pressure, um, we're gonna call this con these conditions STP, which you might have heard of in class, standard temperature and pressure, um, that any gas at these conditions is gonna be 22.4 liters of anything, doesn't matter what it is. What if I had two moles of that particular gas? Well, it would be 44.8 liters. What if I had half a mole of that particular gas? Remember, I notice I didn't, I didn't tell you what gas it was because it doesn't matter. Um, it would be 11.2 liters. Okay, so how can we use this a number when dealing with, with dealing with calculations? Okay, let's do a problem. Let's calculate the volume that 4.5 kilograms of ethylene gas, C2H4, will occupy at STP. Now, the only time I can ever use 22.4 liters is when my conditions are at STP. Otherwise, you might have to calculate that particular um, volume using your gas laws that, you've learned, that you might have learned in class. Um, but let's do, uh, let's do this problem. So we want to figure out the mol how many moles of ethylene gas we have to figure out the molar volume. Well, we have 4.5 kilograms. We want to change that to grams because I don't like kilograms. So one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. And so we have 4,500 grams of ethylene. Awesome. OK, let's then change these grams to moles. So we have 4,500 4, grams. I know my molar mass of ethylene is 28. So we have 28 grams for every one mole. And so now I know that I have 160.71 moles of C2H4. Okay, so that's how many moles I have, and my conditions are STP, so what's my volume? Well, I'm going to use my 22.4 liters because I know that it doesn't matter what gas it is, any gas at STP is going to be 22.4 liters. So I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to multiply, I'm going to say in one mole of gas, we have 22.4 liters. I'm going to multiply these, this, these two together, 160.71 times 22.4 liters, and I get 3,600 liters, that's a lot, of ethylene gas at those conditions of STP. So that is uh, molar volume, and it talks about how we can use this, we can use this volume in virtually everything as long as we're dealing with the conditions at STP.